we are talking here in the both of them that is with respect to the goods only with respect to the goods only anti dumping duty countervailing duty we are talking about the goods only only about the goods now what is anti dumping duty dumping means what someone trying to push those goods into your country creating a negative impact so we will take simple case studies for example take a mobile phone take a mobile phone okay the price of the mobile phone in china price of the mobile phone in china in china that is after manufacturing in china's market okay it is 1000 it is 1000 and in chinese market it is 1000 so china enormously produce this goods and it also wanted to export this good to other markets and it has set the price 800 so for export it has set the price 800 to sell within the market it has set rupees 1000 any country will deliberate makes an attempt deliberate attempt any country which deliberate makes an attempt to reduce the prices of the product lesser than the prices of its own market this is the case prices of the product for exporting lesser than the prices of its own market the same mobile phone so on this you are making exports to india at very cheap prices while importing what is india will basically add customs duty because it's a good you will add customs duty on the good so anyways it is not manufactured you will not add excise because it is in from china you are ex- exporting so you import this on this you will add customs duty 100 150 rupees extra you will add so in such case in india also there is a product india also there is a product somewhere around 1100 rupees so the similar product of mobile phone india mobile phone india it is 1100 so who produced this domestic industries of india produced this similar mobile phone similar features etc we produced this it is 1100 factors of production is high and we gave subsidies not that much as china has given china has produced lot of goods and has given much subsidies enormous subsidies etc which made this good to go very much lower so you now what will you do you will export this good to india and india will have this good here and now you will add customs duty imagine customs duty is around 200 rupees 200 you added so what the good you import now it becomes 1000 china knows very well that even after adding customs duty i can dominate now it is 1000 and it is 1100 and obviously you know chinese good will be in the demand because of china's product is of very very cheaper prices that is 1000 so in such cases government in order to protect even after adding customs duty why will add customs duty to protect our domestic goods so here even though you have added customs duty and you can check that the prices of the indian goods are higher when compared to the chinese good plus the second condition here second condition is very important second condition also you will check that for making exports the product you have made deliberate attempt which is very lower and the market prices for the same product is quite higher in such case you are doing a mischief that means you actually want to capture the other country other country's market so in that cases if there is a difference here there is a difference then i will add dumping duty anti dumping duty anti dumping duty is added to safeguard your domestic goods from the foreign goods now you have added 1000 again you will add 200 rupees as dumping duty it will become total 1200 that is 1200 indian good is 1100 so whose demand will be more now indian good so anti dumping duty is added in order to protect the domestic good from the foreign goods so making ensure that even after adding customs duty if the prices are being again deliberate attempt to keep lower in such cases i will add an extra uh, duty on it which is called as anti dumping duty